You're going up the club Tuesday. What's happening? Terry's giving a talk on buttons. Buttons? You heard me. Christ, sod that. Yeah. I think I'll give that a mess. Do you guys belong to a club? The MDC. Danebury Metal Detecting Club. In the Scout Hall, opposite the two brewers on the high street. Ah, oh, right. And what sort of thing happens there? Well, we compare finds, discuss the hobby. Uh, sometimes we get a guest speaker in. This Tuesday, Terry, club president, is giving a talk on buttons. Buttons? You heard him. Wow. Outrageous. You guys going along? Yeah. 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 Probably. Yeah, we'll be there. Will it be OK for me to pop in? Yeah. I don't see why not. OK, cool. Well, I'll see you there, then. Yeah. See you. Bye. Bye, Sophie. Could be good, Buttons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's happening in the club tonight? <laughs> buttons? Fuck off! I understood there was going to be a talk about buttons. I'm Russell. We are all in agreement. Welcome, Sophie. Thank you. So... He reckons he's still got some of the artefacts. He reckons so. Don't knock on the glass, mate. Stresses him out. I wasn't gonna. You never like Bob Cromer. Well, that's not the point. It doesn't matter that me and Bob didn't always see eye to eye. What I am saying is that Bob Cromer ignored some fundamental rules of health and safety. Day one of metal detecting school. Is there such a place? No. no. Bob was not a member of this club, and I'm glad. Because we have not had a fatality in the DMDC for nearly three years, and I intend to keep it that way. You know, uh, does anyone want a drink? I'll get them. Pint. Pint. Pintosh. Coke. Sheila, what are you having? Pina Clouda. <laughs> Pina... I'm not sure they'll have that at the uh, White Horse. I'll check, but if they don't... Snowball. Snowball. Got it. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hello. Hi. You came down? Yep. I was bored and that wine you bought was a bit shit. Um, this is Sophie. Hello, Sophie. Sophie, this is, um... Becky. Becky. This is Becky. Hi, Becky. <laughs> This is nice. Sit down, I'll get you a drink. What are you having? Just an orange juice, thanks. Great. Really? Sit down. I'll get it. She was nice. Oh, shit. How old is she? I don't know. Yes, you do. 23. Brilliant. Thanks. Nothing going on. Oh, really? Then why didn't you want me to come tonight? I told you because I thought it was going to be crap. And was it? Actually, it was OK. We were quite pleased. You're pathetic. Mm. You're having a pathetic little midlife crisis. Go on, leave me for a younger woman and get a pair of leather trousers and a motorbike while you're at it. What would you get? Try and Bonneville, probably. Lance says we can increase membership and then have more power and influence in the archaeological world. Power and influence! You're deluded! Lance says we can ask Sir Tony Robinson to be patron. Who? Baldrick off of Blackadder. Is he a sir? Yes. Why would he ever agree to that? Because he's a champion of archaeology and archaeologists. But you're not archaeologists! You're a bunch of hobbyists! You are amateur metal detectors! Detectorists. Lance says... <coughs> You don't want to hear what Lance says, do you? I particularly want to get to know her. Why not? Well, she's a floozy. A floozy? I haven't heard that word in years. She's a dolly bird. You sound like your mum. Sorry, sorry, you don't sound like your mum. You've never sounded like your mum. That was wrong with me. I've just never heard you use words like floozy and dolly bird before. 
Anyway, the point is, by saying that you don't want to know Sophie, you're basically saying that you still believe something's going on between me and Sophie, and by your own admission, you don't believe that anymore. Christ. She's not my girlfriend. She's a floozy. She's not a floozy. Who's not a floozy? Hello, Sophie. Look, it's Sophie. Oh, yes. Hi. So, Sophie, this is, um, Becky. Come on. You're all metal detectors. Detectorists. Pup. You see 15 to 1? No, content on the telly. Not the same. I know. I miss William G. Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. I like Toxvig, but, you know, she's always cracking jokes. William G. never cracked jokes. Very rarely. And when he did, they weren't funny. Yeah, there's no room for humour on 15 to 1. Becky, it's me. I know you told me not to phone, but I couldn't help it. I need you back. I can't turn on the telly. That's not the reason I was saying that to be cute. I'll, I'll learn how to turn on the telly. I could probably work it out if I tried hard enough, but... And I am going to try really hard, not with the telly. You know, I'm going to try harder with everything, with us and everything. I'm going to sell my detector. And I know I already said that I had sold it or I was going to, but I, I didn't get around to it. But I'm going to sell it tomorrow or the next day, definitely. You can count on me. I'm going to change. I really want this. I want to have this chance to start again. I'm going to pull my finger out and my socks up and myself together and we can... I need you, Becky. Nothing without you. Can't even turn on the telly. Brilliant. That's sorted then. Go on. If you help us out, we won't have to move. I'm not that keen to be going, if I'm honest. And you get to see her whenever you want. Or have you blown all your winnings on your collections? She you takes sugar, Lance? I can't remember. Can we split up? OK. Will you go out with me? Yeah, OK. And then will you marry me? Yeah. Come to take you home, Bex. Please come home. When you say you've come to take me home, how have you come to take me home? You haven't got a car. Yeah. All right, if we take your car. And you can't drive. No. All right, if you drive. <laughs> you are so gallant. Can I have a lift? <laughs> My hero. Can we stop off at the Bruce? Who's there? Lance. Here we go. And Sophie. <gasps> Super. Lance has got something to tell me. And you've got something to tell him. What, about us? No, that you've given up detecting. Oh, yeah, we don't need to. Let's not mention that for the moment. I have given up detecting, but I think he's going to be upset, so I want to break it to him gently. I wish I knew how to quit you. Shut up. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on a second, Bex. Um, I figure 20 years, wouldn't that? Oh, it's not that fast, is it? Uh, I better take this. Mm -hmm. oh, hello? Why, oh, it's me. Where are you? Oh, I told you. Screw things. Oh, yeah. Forgot. They've got a mariachi band playing. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm having a Mexican afternoon. Uh, no, I just... I forgot to ask whether you're going to the club. All right. I'll see you there. Oh, can you get me some masonry nails? Galvanised. Yeah, OK. Mm. I'll bet go. They're bringing out the piñata. Mm. Adios. Message from Sophie. 
S and G alert heading your way. What's an S and G alert? Hello there, old friends. Indeed. Been a long time, hasn't it? It has. A lot of water under the bridge. Troubled water. Pardon? Troubled water that the bridge is over? Tell me more, tell me more. Was it love at first sight? I'm trying to open up here. Sorry. Anyway, come the end of the summer, she found out she was pregnant. Furious. Sawed my bed in half. Sawed it in half? Chainsaw. Lengthways? Across. Did the council come and pick that up then? The bed? I dismantled it in the end. Take up the dump. Took three trips. What you got? Some sort of brooch. Hmm. Nice condition. It's got the enamel in and, and the original pin on the back. Yeah? Yeah. Hang on. It's an inscription. In Latin. What does it say? Status quo. I can't get the image of the mare out of my head in the woods. I know. Try not to think about it. Try to imagine him fully clothed. Yes? You're about old Rob McClin. What about him? Dead, mate. Hell. Fell in a vat of boiling soup. What? Well, he was working over at Billingsgate Foods in charge of the soup. Fell in. Bloody hell. Oh, I know. Grim. Do you know what flavour? Dunno. For some reason, I'm imagining tomato. Yeah, me too. Yeah, he was a legend, Rob McClin. There's lots of stories about old Rod. Yeah, he used to go detecting at the end of each day for loose change on Wimbledon Common. <laughs> what? Wimbledon Common. What about it? Well, it's not real. Not real? No, it's fictitious. It's made up for the Wombles. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yeah. Underground, overground, Wombling no, free. No. I know the Wombles live there. But that doesn't mean it's not a real place. You believe in Wombles? Of course I don't. Look, the fictitious Wombles lived fictitiously on the real life Wimbledon Common. Really? Google it. No signal. Google it later. What was that, mate? Trampoline. Ah. Any of you chaps here trampoline? Went that way. Was there a child in it? Don't think so. Right. Is that good news? Potentially. Funny, you never think you'll actually end up on a stakeout. This is the third stakeout I've been on. Yeah? What were the other two? Uh, first was uh, protecting a giant vegetable the night before an important horticultural show. It's a long story. I didn't grow it. Pumpkin? Marrow. The other one? 
Oh, I staked out an ex-girlfriend's house. See who she was going out with. What? Mate, that's stalking. No, no, it would have become stalking if I'd have done it loads. How many times did you do it? Three or four. So we're going to meet your daughter at the rally, Lance? Afraid not. Oh, I thought that was the idea. Didn't you buy her a detector? I think I might have mucked that up. Oh, dear. Shared her with gifts and now she's scarpered. Oh, but wasn't she the one who found you? Why would she then just run away? Probably thought I was a nutter. Rubbish. It came on a bit strong. But what you've got going for you now is that she's met you, Lance. And you're lovely. So she's bound to come back when she's ready. Thanks, Sheila. Mm. I'll let her decide. I never realised how often I'd thought about her over the last 20 years. Ah, I know. Imagining every day what they might be doing now. <laughs> what they would look like. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. I know. Ah. Hmm. Come on, you're playing catch the greasy pig in the field. Playing what? Catch the greasy pig. What's that? It's a Victorian thing. You smear a pig in Vaseline and then you run around trying to catch it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Mr. Boxall just fell flat on his ass. <laughs> Isn't that a bit cruel? No, he was laughing. I meant for the pig. <laughs> <laughs>